full day in Osaka and while most people go to Universal Studios or the Osaka Aquarium, neither of those things actually interest us. So what we're doing instead is we're going to go to the Osaka Castle, which is another main attraction here in the city. It was built in 1615 but burnt down shortly after that. So the castle that's up here right now, it's been rebuilt in the last half century. So it's not the original but it's still really interesting. It's only 600 yen to check it out. So let's wander on in. When they first built this back in 1624, they used these huge stones to make the wall to protect the castle on the inside. This one behind me is the biggest one they used. It's 108 ton and 60 square meters in surface area. Absolutely massive. How they shaped that and got that there, I have no idea. It's a pretty impressive feat of engineering that. finished up inside the Osaka Castle now. It was more of a museum because it was only built 50 years ago but every floor had different exhibits and scriptures and kind of videos and information they can give you and there's a free audio guide. You just show them your ID and they give you this audio headpiece and you wander around and you can punch in the numbers and they'll have someone speaking to you in English information about all the things that are in there. So it was well worth doing and we ended up spending oh, close to two hours in there. So. Now we're back to Namba, which is where our hotel is, and we have a really cool activity plan for the afternoon. So let's hit to the metro and get there now. And now for the activity I've been waiting for. It's the only thing I wanted to do in Japan, and I'm very excited for it. What are we doing, Alicia? We are going go-karting. <gasps> We are going go-karting in Osaka. We are not going Mario karting, big disclaimer. Nintendo have nothing to do with this. However, you get dressed up like random cartoon characters and you ride around in a go-kart in the streets of Osaka. I am very excited for it. Let's go. <laughs> so these are all the costumes you get to pick from. Home for a dragon or is it a dinosaur, one of the two. I got my kit, just wanted to get the go-kart now, then we can hit the streets. We're breaking this up into a couple of groups, so it looks like it's only four people to uh, rally, I guess, which is awesome. So small group, we'll get to zip around Osaka. Oh, been waiting so long for this. We just got our safety briefing done, and now all we have to do is jump in the go-kart. And go, it's going to be so exciting. Yes. I am super stoked. We've only been going for about 15 minutes so far and already it is a ridiculous amount of fun. I am absolutely loving this. Alicia is too. Oh, there's a lot of traffic about so we can't go too fast but that's not such a bad thing because uh, when you're this low to the ground you feel like you're going really quick anyway. But oh, I'm hoping we get some open road we can just floor it for a little bit. Because I would win. I, I have won. I, beat, I would win. I beat my dad and he's a really good racer. Yeah, but I beat your dad too and I would beat you. No. So much fun! <laughs> We've just stopped for a little break now, stretch the legs, and we just rode around the Osaka Castle, which was pretty amazing. Seeing it from the road nice and low yeah. was really cool. So I think we're about to jump back in the go-kart zone, so start making our way back to headquarters. It has been so much fun.
that was as good as I hoped it would be, definitely. A highlight of Japan, that was incredible. Actually fantastic. I'm so glad we got to do it because we went to go book in Tokyo and it was actually booked out due to the World Rugby Cup. So we found out it's here in Osaka and uh, we did it. So yeah. I was so stoked. Yeah. Even if I don't do anything else in Japan right now, I'm, I'm content, I'm happy, <laughs> we can leave. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next adventure.